Hi everyone, I'm Shining Cat. So today, one of my subscribers asked if I could make the core style. At first, I didn't know what was that type of style, and when he replied, he said this, as you can see. So I checked it on YouTube, the core style, and then these are the photos that, well, the videos that came up. This is what he meant. Oh god, um, never done this type of style before, but reply that he made uh, just explains everything, so basically a lot of objects to just put together. Well, I'm gonna try. This is not a tutorial, by the way, this is just a little challenge that I'm gonna try. Alright, so I'm gonna make... Yeah, I'll let this background be the same, and I'm gonna make somewhere like this, then this, and then... Actually, wait, maybe a little bit darker, somewhere like this. Alright, uh, let's start. I'm gonna make a little layout, even though this is just for showcasing. Not gonna do the layout. And to add a bit more challenge, I'm gonna add a little slope type of object right here. And then do like this. Yeah, it isn't perfect at the edge right here. But this is what we're going for. So I'm gonna go to layer 1 and then gonna choose these objects and make, I don't know, uh, then go somewhere like this and like this and then like this and then like this. Now we need the slope. Mm. Somewhere like this. Now we need the slopes. So for the slopes, I'm gonna use these objects. Then, actually, wait, uh, maybe for this one, I'm gonna use as well. For this one, this, and then... Oh god. And then... Something like this. Alright, so now it should look like this. It doesn't seem good at the first. And we're not now gonna add objects. Well, actually, to the third layer. Yes, yeah, something like this, and then... No, wait, not here, but right here. And then it should look like this. You know what, the uh, these ones, these slopes right here is a bad idea, and... Yeah, this is a bad idea. Alright, uh, now we're gonna add color to them. So I'm gonna do color channel 2. Copy color background with blending. And brightness all the way up. Oh wait, that's... Oh, that's not the right one. Default. Alright, good. Now we're gonna go to the second layer and then we're gonna what are we gonna add? I really wonder. Mm. Gosh dang. This is a bit of a hard challenge. Um 
Maybe let's try these ones. And then we're gonna turn them black. Turn them black somewhere right here. Or maybe it's a little bit too dark. And actually, it's just right this. So basically, select this thing, this, and then a bit better. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better. Really don't know what I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna go here, and also do the same thing right here. Oh boy. I think it looks good enough. All right, uh, now what we're going to add next is a little trick that I learned from Woolsey doing something like this. Or maybe that trick isn't worth it here. Maybe wait, let's try swiping it and then doing it somewhere like this. Oh god, it's gone. Maybe this? Well, I don't see it now. Okay, maybe those objects aren't good. So for this, it's not good. Alright, um... What if we try using these decorative spikes? Somewhere like here. And then it should look a bit better. Yes, that's what I like. Alright, um, next. Maybe like little chains right here and then chain right here maybe that's a too a bit too big so we're gonna try you know and then make this a little bit smaller somewhere like 0 0.9 no not good enough 0 0.8 good now we're gonna apply this I think it looks good. Now I saw that the style also uses a lot of glow. So I'm gonna add a little bit. So this, copy color background, saturation 0 0.7, brightness all the way up, and blending. It looks like it looks from the oh god. This looks good. Wait, I forgot also for this one though. For this object right here. Somewhere like this. Damn. And then it looks like this. Damn! Maybe I should make a level with this type of style. Damn. The glow. Didn't know I could achieve something like this while in the video. But wait, if we try making the gradient somewhere like here. Now it looks meh. Now it looks meh. Somewhere like here. Okay, this is good. 
All right, now we need some more objects. Uh, some saws. Let's try using saws. So this one's going to be somewhere right here. Make it a little bit smaller. And then leave it as it should be. And then copy it right here. Make it more, sm way more smaller. Yes, good enough. Then somewhere like this, and then this all the way down. No, you know, a little bigger, and then and somewhere like here. Uh, the object right here is overlapping, so we're gonna make it a little bit... Yes. Or maybe it's not good. Somewhere like here, then. Okay. What else can we add? Maybe actually let's try adding like a little bit of reflection behind this. 0 0.5. Then use this. Oh wait, that's uh, oh, oh, that's for the outline. Also over here, we're gonna move it somewhere like here. Make it a little bit smaller. And then like this. Uh, and then the same here. No, that's not the right color. And then this one right here. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> default and default. Wait, I forgot to copy this. There we go. And then now we can color it. I don't know what else to add. Maybe a little bit more glow. I think. Let's try adding more glow for the slope. So I'm gonna go to gradient. And use a little bit smaller gradient. Which is gonna be this one. And do this. Now we're going to add a bit more glow right here. It looks something from the course, though. I think I did it. I think I made my own course, though. Woo. Okay. Um. That was a, a bit of a hard challenge because I never did something like this before. But I somehow did it. I made my own core style. So, I think that's it for the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and also subscribe to my channel. And see you in another video. Bye! <laughs>